In today's video, we're gonna learn what activity level is and why you should never trust an online calorie calculator. So first up, we'll just define what activity level is. Then we'll see how it's used in online calorie calculators. And then finally, I'll show you some real data and why this kind of invalidates the accuracy of calorie calculators and why you should be very, very skeptical about any estimate you get from an online calculator. So first up, we're gonna talk about what it is. Basically, your activity level is just a multiplier. It's a number which compares your basal metabolic rate, so your energy used at rest, compared to your total energy expenditure. So physical activity level, your activity level is just basically your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure, divided by your BMR. So typically, your basal metabolic rate, your resting energy expenditure, accounts for about 60% of your total energy expenditure. So when you flip that on top of each other, you'll get you know, an average um, uh, activity level of about 1.7. So a typical person has a physical activity level of about 1.7. Somebody who doesn't move around a lot has much more of their energy coming from their BMR. So someone who's quite sedentary, and you know, doesn't fidget much and kind of has poor genetics for this might have a physical activity level 1.4. And someone who's really active, who fidgets a lot, who has an active job, in particular job pays a really big, so they're on their feet all day, they're moving around, they work in construction, they could easily have an activity level of 2.0. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because this number is at the heart of virtually every online calorie calculator. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you why you should be very skeptical about any estimate of your physical activity level and why this brings into the question yeah you know, brings into question the validity or the accuracy of any online calorie calculation okay so let's talk about how online calorie calculators work and virtually everyone i've ever seen works like this so there are some people who just use a body weight multiplier but that's even less accurate but basically they work out your total daily energy expenditure so they calculate your basal metabolic rate, which can be done with like the Harris-Benedict or the mifflin Jour, I think is the most accurate one. And this, this calculation is reasonably accurate. It should come within 10 or 20% of your actual basal metabolic rate. But the problem is what they do is they take that number, so say your BMR is 1600, and then they multiply it by this activity multiplier. And that gives you an estimate of your TDE, your total energy expenditure. Then they apply a deficit to work out what you want to lose weight. The problem with this is, is the physical activity. This activity level, people are making absolute thumb sucks about what this number is. And basically they've, they've used the same multipliers out of the textbooks for 30 years. And this is what they come. So they say someone who's sedentary is 1.2. Someone who exercises a little bit is 1.375. Someone who is moderately active with their exercise is 1.55, very active 1.7 and extremely active 1.9. And you are just supposed to guess based on how much exercise you do. But this is a dramatic oversimplification of what actually plays into your activity level because a lot of it is genetic. What's your posture control like? How much do you fidget? These play a big role. Then you've got your workplace energy activity, which is a huge, huge part of your physical activity level. And unless you're doing a lot of endurance exercise, the amount that you exercise is actually not the biggest player in this activity level. So these simple multipliers are very, very simplistic and how anyone is supposed to know what these numbers are in any form of accuracy, I, I literally have no idea because to actually work that out, you would need to have your metabolic rate tested in a, in a chamber and then you would need to have your, your total daily energy expenditure from some doubly labeled water testing, which is extremely expensive and only really happens in laboratory testing. So basically, your physical activity level, you're never really gonna know. If you track your calories pretty accurately and make a decent estimate of your BMR, you can kind of reverse engineer it. But even then, that's gonna be super inaccurate. And you simply need to understand this because what I'm gonna show you now is these, these calorie calculators, they are just kidding themselves when they're giving you a number. Okay, last up, I'm gonna show you some real data. So basically, I grabbed an appendix out of the dietary reference index in America and I reverse engineered it from the basal metabolic rate and total energy expenditure to work out what some real activity levels look like. And the interesting thing for me is, you know, 
People will tell you that activity levels are constrained between 1.2 and 1.9, but when you look at a true data set, you'll see that they are all over the place, from 1.1 up to 2.5. And actually, a good 15, 20% of the sample is beyond 1.9, way out over here, beyond two. People are a lot more active than you people would have you believe when you look at the calorie calculators online. And what we see is typically it's kind of a bell-shaped distribution with a bit of a positive skew. So basically, the mid-range is about 1.7. If you're below 1.4, that's you're probably in the 10, 15% of the lowest activity level. And then if you're above 2.1, then you are very active. You're in the kind of top 10, 15% of activity. And that's how it looks. The whole point, this is a very simple video. The whole point is just never ever, ever trust a calorie calculation. These people, you know, you get these macro calculators, these online calculators, and they will say, they'll shoot out that you use 2,761 calories. And this, honestly, this number could be plus or minus 500. And that's the really important thing to remember. Never trust an online calorie calculator because this activity level is just very, very, very hard to estimate. You know, there's so much genetics, fidgeting, posture control, what type of job someone has, how much exercise they're doing, you know, other things. They're, they're, whether they've been dieting recently, whether they've been bulking recently, all these things play into your activity level and they make it very, very hard. So your best bet, treat everything like a thumb suck, track your progress, make adjustments. Just be consistent and make adjustments because these numbers, you'll never actually know. Um, I hope, that's, uh, I hope that's useful for you. Just please, whatever you do, don't trust a calorie calculator because, you know, they're just totally inaccurate and um, they can mislead you and set you off on the wrong foot. You just need to track what you're doing, be consistent, and then make adjustments like, you know, everyone who's serious about their physique does. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, track your numbers below. Tell me if you've got a better method for calculation because um, I, I use my own and, uh, you know, it's not easy. Um, I would never pretend to be accurate. Uh, yeah, chuck your comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Catch you later. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you jump on the email list and get our five simple strategies to start losing weight cheat sheet.